far from its native roots in New England, in the beautiful rolling hills of Southern California, just north of Los Angeles, in the peaceful countryside of Agua Dulce, the Morgan Horse makes its home. For more than two decades, Joy Weber has practiced her profession as a horse trainer, and over that time has helped hundreds of clients reach both their potential and their dreams with their horses. Welcome to Weber Training Stables in Agua Dulce, California. Surrounded by the rolling mountains of Agua Dulce, Weber Training Stables is a warm and welcoming place where people of all ages and experience levels can bring their horse to improve upon both their horse's skill set and their own or come to find their special horse and lifelong companion. At Weber Stables, their primary focus is on the Morgan horse, both for training and for breeding. WTS specializes in diversity, training horses of all breeds, disciplines and levels, whether it's starting young horses, re-educating grown ones, solving problems, or even tuning up Old Faithful and giving that old horse a few new tricks. They offer training for a wide range of disciplines, including show, pleasure, competition, performance, vaulting, trail, endurance, speed, and more. The Morgan Horse is America's first breed, going back well over 200 years ago, and has a profound impact and effect on those who have come to know and love this breed. Not only is it known for its exceptional versatility, but its kind and willing temperament. To own and know a Morgan horse results in an unbridled passion for this breed, as you'll see. Probably what sets WTS apart from other training facilities is their philosophy on training, both horses and riders. Each horse and rider is a unique set of issues and circumstances to deal with, so there is no boilerplate method that will deal with all situations. Every horse and client is evaluated to determine what issue they need to work on, and a customized program is developed for each horse and rider. 
They manage an environment where the goal is to produce a horse that responds to requests trustingly, confidently, and without resistance because it understands what's expected of it and a rider who understands how to get the best performance and most enjoyment out of each riding experience. But perhaps one of the strongest attributes of WTS is the personality of the operation and the fact that clients and their horses are not simply clients, but family. Sharing, caring, and cooperation are basic tenets of the stable, and everyone there adheres to rule number one and rule number two. The best thing they find out here is that we're really easy going. Everybody's really supportive of everybody else. Um, the number one rule is you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Rule number two is don't forget rule number one. The thing I strive for in training is that I want basically my owners to be able to ride their horse as well as I do. People should be able to enjoy their horse and ride it the way that we ride it. So um, I would say I put a lot of stress on making sure that people know why the horse is trained this way, how it's trained this way, and how they can get the same results that I get when I ride the horse. Whether they're out on the trail, in the show ring, no matter where they're at. While some trainers prefer to train, manage, and show the horses they're working with, Joy very much wants to integrate the owner into the process. So the end result is that the owner can get as much from their horse as Joy can. Her goal is to develop a solid working partnership between horse and rider that makes them both successful. To make certain all clients and horses receive the same high level of attention, care, and hands-on training, they keep the operation at a manageable size. I take a lot of pride in the horses that I train and that come in here, as well as the kids and the people that I train. We're a smaller facility, um, so we only take in basically what we can put out and put out well. I would say the fact that I don't have a lot of assistants that work my horses, like I spend a lot of time on each and every horse that's here, that's my reputation. When it goes out the door or in the show ring, you know, that's my time, my hard work. As part of the extended family, two of Joy and Jim's friends and clients share what they've discovered at WTS and why they too are passionate about the Morgan breed. I got my first horse when I was 12 and it was a big brown Morgan gelding. And when I was 14, I decided I wanted to buy a registered filly, but I wanted an Arab because I'd read all the black stallion books. And that was twice as expensive as a Morgan. And the, Mr. W.T. Carter, who lived down the street, he raised Morgans. So I bought my first Morgan, registered Morgan filly, Gypsy Allen, from him and paid for her with my allowance. And she became the foundation mare for my Regency bloodlines.
Morgans are a really wonderful breed. I know that my Morgan gelding gave me something to do and fall in love with. And when I got my filly, I spent so much time with her and she was such a marvelous horse. And every Morgan that I've been around has been wonderful in one way or another. I met Joy through my friend Tina Elias who bought a mare from me. And a few years later she comes and she says, Julie, I have someone I want you to meet. And she introduced me to Joy. And this has been the most wonderful experience of my life, having the horses with Joy at Weber Trainee's table. She's honest, she's friendly, she's proficient, she does a great job with the horse. She loves every one of my horses and treats it as well as she does her own. And it's just a great place to be. I love her. I love this breed because they have, Morgan horses have personality. They're all different. They're all individuals with their own special little quirks and their own abilities. And one Morgan may not be able to do everything, but Morgans can do everything, from reining to park to pleasure to help raise a kid. They're just great horses, great breed. All right, Morgan, Morgans are a good breed for youth to become involved in because they're kind, they're responsive, they're intelligent. They're just, they're just great. I never, I didn't really start out with Morgans. I started out with Arabs, um, and but I'd always read the books about Morgans, and I said someday I'm going to have me one, and I did get one. Um, I had to beg, borrow, and steal to raise the $2,500 to buy her. Um, I did so. She was absolutely wonderful. Just fell in love with the breed. Fell in love with. The personality, fell in love with just everything about them, the way they look, the way they act, um, like Julie said, the kindness of them, uh, totally different from Arabs in many ways. Um, I still was involved with the Arabs for quite a while until just recently, and now I'm strictly Morgans. They're just the best breed. When I was looking for a trainer, one of the things I was looking for was something that was a smaller facility, somebody who did hands-on. I like that. I like to be involved in seeing what's being done with my horse um, and how it's being handled. And um, Joy, as a trainer, does that. She involves me in every aspect. Um, she wants me around when she's doing things with my horse. Um, she's the kind of person who you just fall in love with right off the bat. She just, you know, wants to do what's best for you, wants to do uh, what's best for the horse, uh, and just lets everybody know that she's there for them. That's what's special about this place is everybody pitches in. Um, if you need something done, if you need a horse washed, you can hand it off to anybody. If you need a horse groomed, if you need a horse saddled, we all participate and um, it, it's, it's fun to do so because you know it's appreciated. You know that to help is, is people want to help and they're willing to do it at any given point of time, no matter what the situation is. One of the things they're most proud of at Weber Training Stables is their youth program, as these youngsters will be the future stewards of the breed. And WTS is a proud host of the American Morgan Horse Association's Winning Colors Youth Program, where youngsters can learn about and get hands-on education about horses and their proper care and management. Winning Colors was sort of something that I wanted to do even when I was in Michigan. I didn't actually get started until I was out here. 
I wanted to do something basically that kids who can't afford it to take lessons, somehow they could participate, have hands-on horse activities. So the AMHA sponsors youth groups and so we got them involved in doing an AMHA youth group where we teach the horse mastership program, that whole ordeal. And they can badge, you know, through doing certain activities that they have to receive each badge. We've kind of taken winning colors a little bit farther. Um, you know, Morgans are my love and my primary thing, but I train all breeds. I'm really into horses in general. And I don't want kids that just have Morgans to feel like it's only a place they can come. So we've expanded it to cover all of horse husbandry. The kids learn things that aren't necessarily in there. They've learned how to give shots. They've learned how to worm. We've taught them how to like prepare horses for show. Um, you know, we, we have speakers come. We had a jockey come and bring you know, all, the whole get up and dress one of the thoroughbreds up, teach them how they sit, how they actually position themselves, do everything, answer questions about being a jockey. We've had, we have an acupuncturist coming to talk to them. Um, we bring in any guest speakers that we can get from different, any kind of basically horse oriented industry, you know, just to basically educate them and teach them. If you want to be in horses, even if you can't be a trainer or you don't want to be a trainer, there's, but you want to have, you know, a future with horses, there's some avenue. And it doesn't have to be necessarily be a Morgan. But we do, obviously since we love Morgans, you know, stress and want to build relationships with those and introduce people to, and kids to, the Morgans as a breed too. I mean, I would love it if everybody owned one. But we have a few other breeds of our own as well. So. The Rural American Lifestyle, it's how we work, it's how we play. It's how we learn and how we enjoy the finer things in life. How we take care of our animals and tend to the land. It's a way of life. Has been for hundreds of years. Now there's a whole new way for rural America to watch TV. Joy's husband, Jim, discusses their breeding program, one that focuses on preserving Morgan type, movement, and temperament, and how their ultimate goal is perfection within the Morgan breed. What we're looking for in our breeding program, uh, we, we try to choose the, the sire and the dam for type, confirmation, um, temperament, personality. Um, we, we like to breeds for a specific style of uh, riding, English to English, Western to Western, to try, to try to pass on movement that the, that the sire has. Um, if, we have um, if we have horses that uh, have a really nice head and really nice conformation, we like to choose a mare that resembles that to try to perfect what we see in, in each side. We would like to, our ultimate goal with any breeding program is perfection. We want to produce the nicest looking Morgan that, that we possibly can. What's special about Weber Training Stables, I think, is um, clientele that come here instantly become family. We, we treat everyone and hope to be treated like there's a long-term relationship about to happen and is happening with current clientele. The, the clientele go above and beyond. Just, we don't label them clients, we don't label them anything other than friends and new family members. We care for their horse as if it's, we, we just got another horse ourselves. We got married in the arena and everyone was here. Anyone who had a horse here or knew us was here involved in the wedding. We had it here because this, this is our family, this is our church. We solve and help each other with problems, but we don't backstab and talk about it. If, if someone's having a problem with their horse, we don't let them figure it out, we all figure it out. Joy is the trainer and that's, that's um, unchallenged. But we like to teach each other and educate each other and learn from each other and help everything, everything that happens here is because it's a group effort. It all gets erected and resolved because of everyone involved. And it's just a really warm and special place to, to be, to wake up, to go to sleep. I mean, 
I get to wake up and look out my door and see this going on every day. I can't imagine that who isn't jealous of me. You know, I don't have to have a million dollars in the bank. I have this. Discover why so many of their clients over the past two decades have learned that Weber Trading Stables is a warm and welcoming place ready to help anyone of any age improve not only their riding skills, but their relationship with their horse, creating lifelong partnerships between horse and owner. They will help you and your horse achieve your dreams. Well, I'm just blessed to be able to do what I really love to do. And not a lot of people can say that. You know, I get to come out here and do what I love to do more than anything in the world every day and get paid for it. How awesome is that? <laughs>